Okay, I wanted to just uh, share with you this beautiful coronal mass ejection that came off the sun this morning at around between 1.30 and 2 o'clock this morning, uh, Eastern Daylight Time, supposedly. That's what they tell us. Anyway, uh, beautiful coronal mass ejection, the best I've ever seen so far and witnessed. It was spectacular. Lots of videos online about this. But I wanted to share this with you from a different perspective. These solar flares are being precipitated by evolutionary change. And everything is being upgraded. That is, everything in the universe, our solar system, our galaxy, all the planets are being changed. Uh, everything on our Earth is changing, as you're noticing on the external reflection. And we're changing as well. But the fact that we're changing is not really talked about. So that's what I want to focus on during this, these videos that I share with you. It's really about how these solar flares are affecting human consciousness and, and the evolution of our species, humanity. Because I think it was uh, 2006 or so, I noticed that I was starting to have these energy surges throughout the day. And I started looking into it because certain times of the day like between 1 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon when the sun was brightest I would have these energy surges and I was like what is this all about so I'm only sharing this with you because it this is a, a fact in my life that I've had these energy surges surges and I checked into it and uh, put the dots together and found out that uh, the energy surges that I'm having are as a result of solar flares and uh, this upgrade that's happening with our species. Now, if you are having physiological changes in your body right now, it is most likely being precipitated by the coronal mass ejections and they're going to be intensifying from the sun and they're going to be intensifying over the next few years. So I think it's really important for you to have this information as a stepping point for you to continue your research or to come here and just share in what I share. But you won't hear this information being readily shared in mainstream. So I figured I might as well get the information out as best I can to you. Anyway, um, so these uh, chroma mass ejections are electrons and protons. And there are some other elements involved, such as iron, um, helium, oxygen, uh, and so this energy that they talk about is called plasma, plasma energy. And uh, so it's coming from the center of our Milky Way galaxy, supposedly, and uh, this energy, this, this subtle, um, catalytic, very, I guess it's just dynamic energy that's coming from the center of our Milky Way galaxy. It's hitting the planets in our solar system and that then hitting our sun and then hitting our magnetic fields of the Earth and then it's our heart and our brain and is affecting the physiology of our body. Very interesting dynamic. But this is evolutionary change. This is the result of the divine plan that's being precipitated by God, you know, the all one, the creator, the great designer of this universe. And this evolutionary process that we're in is being precipitated by what is called space weather. And uh, so this is going to be intensifying. You know, it's June 7, 2010. I've done a few videos on this. And so between now and June of 2013, we're going to be seeing more frequent um, solar flare activity. It's going to increase steadily. So we're just about in the middle of, of it, in the thick of it. It's just wonderful. So, you know, a, a real simple um, definition of coronal mass ejections is love energy from source. <laughs> And uh, these love energies are bathing our planet and they're waking people up. And they're changing the physiology of our planet. 
our species, um, everything. And our planets are changing and our solar system. So it's a wonderful time to be alive. That's why we came here. We're, we came here for this. And so if you're having any challenges, because some people are having wonderful experiences, and uh, my experiences have been, some have been great, some have been challenging, um, but for the most part, they're um, great and, and provocative energies. And so there are some people, or a lot of people, who don't even know that this is happening to them, and or they're not conscious of it. Um, they may think it's something else, but there are a lot of symptoms that you can look out for, such as migraine headaches, um, dizziness, uh, tingling sensations in the fingers, the hands, and the feet. Uh, what else is there? There's uh, uh, hormonal cycles are changing. Men you know, hormonal cycles with women. Um, you know, m men might not feel as active. You might be feeling lethargic or um, exhaustion, like you need to sleep lots more. Yeah, that's a big one. And uh, and then flu-like symptoms. These are just some of the the, the uh, things that might be occurring for you. Having a sense of um, not being able to think clearly, or memory fog, or not having a sense of um, feeling grounded. These are all symptoms that you should be aware of. And uh, a lot of people go to the doctor and the doctors can't do anything. And I think that might be a reason why we're not really told what's going on because there's nothing that anyone can really do. It's a part of the evolutionary change. And so, anyway, I just wanted to, to share that with you. And um, just be aware of um, if you're feeling the sense of the physiological changes and you're dealing with headaches, migraines, and all the symptoms that you may be experiencing, it's because these new energies are very intense, high energy energies, and they cannot penetrate within your physical vehicle if you're carrying a lot of anger, um, guilt, fear is a huge if you're carrying a lot of these toxic type energies, low vibrational energies, then it's going to cause discordance in your, your, your body and, and, and not allow the energies to penetrate your physical being as easily as they should be. And uh, let me tell you, it would be a whole different ga ball game if this information was more readily available for humanity and uh, humanity had the opportunity to prepare itself uh, for the intensification of energies that's going to be bathing our planet. It's just so serious that I don't really think people understand the seriousness of it because it's not shared in mainstream and so people are kind of having these experiences on their own. So if you're identifying with anything that I'm sharing, then and you, you're, it resonates with you, wonderful. If it doesn't, well then just go on with your life, <laughs> is what I have to say. But if it resonates with you, then at least you have some, um, have some comfort knowing that what you're experiencing is not out of sorts and, and that you don't need to be doing this in isolation. You need, don't need to be having this experience in isolation. You can have support. So. I will uh, post a link to my blog called Cosmic Heart. I post a lot of stuff on there over the past four years. And you can stay abreast of some of the articles that I posted on there and some of the videos that I posted on this whole subject there of solar flares. Because I knew it was coming years ago, four years ago. And uh, that's the reason why I started my blog. And I do. Uh, share a little bit of this on my Facebook page. So if you want to join me on Facebook, you can join me there. And or if you want to send me an email, uh, I do life and business coaching, you can send me an email. And if you want support and assistance in this area, I'd be more than happy to support you and uh, answer any questions you have. And I do have a radio show and I've shared this information there as well. So there's lots of ways that you can um, be a part of this community and uh, sharing the information that I have to share. 
and the weeks and a year and a half, I guess. So all this is over. And then we just begin again, right? Well, we are beginning. It's always a new beginning. Every, each and every moment is a new beginning. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. And uh, remember to stay awake and stay in the heart. Peace.